my name is Dawn Marie and this is my channel DM's Crafty Vortex. This is my channel all about cross stitch and about my love of full coverage of cross stitch. I do do other cross stitches but it is mostly full coverage although you probably won't realize that with today's episode but uh, typically if I'm buying something new it is full coverage. I would like to thank all my viewers who have watched me week after week and have come back yet again and I'd also like to thank all the new viewers who have recently subscribed and hit that like button. I really appreciate it. And I would especially like to thank all the people who take the time to comment as well. It's a lot of fun when I'm done and I get to interact with you guys throughout the next couple of weeks. I know it's hard to comment. If you're anything like me and you watch Floss Tube on a screen TV versus your phone, sometimes it's, it's just hard to then pick up the phone and, and comment after the fact. But for those of you who do take that time, I really appreciate it. And for those who don't have time to comment, I still appreciate it and I'm still glad that you're here as well. Let's get started right away with the cross stitch because there is not much of it over the course of the next two weeks, but I'm gonna go over why there isn't as much at the end for people who don't really like to hear about the life updates and just wanna be here for the cross stitch. And there will also be a um, stitchy, non-stitchy kindness at the end that I'll show you that I received that I'm really excited about. But we're going to just start right off the bat with the little bit of cross stitch that I did get done over the course of the last couple of weeks. I did think that maybe I wasn't going to record this week. I was going to wait until next week so that there'd be a little bit more stitching but then I got the stitchy kindness and I want to dig into it. So I want to show it now and then we'll be on track. Plus if I recorded in two weeks, it would be Halloween and then I would have all the trick-or-treaters right at that door that's right next to me. So that would be a really choppy video. So let's get started. I, I've been working on a stitch along with Ebony and Stitches, um, Krissa from Instagram and Blush and Pink Stitches on Floss Tube has also joined us, and that is the Enchanted Place Sal. And this is by Etta Rosa, Etta Jose Rosa, and the pattern is from Stitches So Beautiful. So we all started this, I don't know if you're following any of us on Instagram, I have a teeny tiny start in on this. However, on the Stitches So Beautiful Facebook group, she has, if you stitch on her pattern and you post an update once a week, at the end of the month, you get a free patent. So I really want to you know, earn the free patent. So I have been putting a few stitches on this every week, Sunday mornings, get my stitches in, get it done, set it aside. But those little bit of stitches do add up over time. So this is what it looked like last time you saw it. Now the picture is accurate for the last time you saw it. I don't know if the stitch count is because I forgot to write some stitches down. So some of these stitches might have been part of my last video but I did, I think 582 stitches, maybe less since the last time you saw, but I do have a total of 2,577 stitches out of 92,000 stitches, and it's at 2.87% complete. And again, this is what it looked like last time you saw it. And this is where it's at now. So you can really start seeing that tree start to form. This is on 28 count, which is not my favorite. My favorite is 25 count, and it is using CXC floss. So we're gonna pause for a second. Okay, I am back. I was trying to get away without using the ring light. I thought there was enough light in the room, but I don't think there is. So we're gonna have to deal with the glare on the glasses. Anyways, I was saying 28 count CXC floss. I did try just because I don't like the way my stitches lay as much on 28 count, I tried to do 10 stitch. I've never done 10 stitch before. So I did a little section of 10 stitch. And while I can watch people on floss tube and appreciate and love how their 10 stitch looks, I realized 10 stitch is not for me. So I did one strand of, one strand of 10 stitch and just gave up on it and went back to full cross. So. I thought I started getting lost because I know I know my path. I know I go there, I come back, then I go there and I come back. But with 10 stitch, you go there and you're done. And then I couldn't figure out where to go next. I didn't like using the two strands because I end with a pin stitch a lot of times. And two strands is too thick to end with a pin stitch. So 
it just, I spent more time trying to figure out what to do next and it would have just been faster for me to do my full cross. So this is where I am at. I love those colors. And again, CXC floss. Then I had a couple of new spats and I did not give them anywhere near as much love as I had planned on this month. And I'm so sad about that. But so this one is in this new bag that I made. And this is Sunset at Hogsmeade. And I'm just gonna show you because I can't pronounce the site. Artwork is by Leonardo AI, but here is the site. If you can read that. And this is Sunset at Hogsmeade. Quite a few people are doing this right now on FlossTube and Instagram. However, I am doing the max size, max color. So it's gonna take me a little bit longer to start getting down into this, especially if I'm not stitching on it. So it's a teeny tiny, very sad start on this. And I got 2,103 stitches out of 375,000 stitches at 0.56% complete. And this one is on 25 count easy grid and this is DMC floss and let's see there we go I have to wrangle up all the fabric sorry and this is where I got to so right here is the roof line. So if I go start going down here, I'm going to start getting into all the roof colors. And I'm pretty sure at, I think 240 colors, I'm gonna start getting into some confetti. Right now, this is a lot of block stitching just because it's sky. But this is where I'm at. And with all the new tots, I had to confiscate the Q-snap because I started running out and I need to get more. I also tried, I bought some 17 inch Q-snaps thinking I can get some more space into it. And I have to admit, not a fan. I do love doing 11 by 14, but I think the 11 by 17 is just a little too long and awkward and my arms aren't tall, long enough to get to those spots anyways. So I think I'm going to save those for when I'm beading and stuff. But and then next up was yet another new stock. I was really excited about this one. And I got next to no stitches on it because of unexpected work stuff, which again, I'll talk about it in the end. But this is Cute Halloween Witch. By Charlie's official store and super cute. I am stitching this with Hannah Darling and she has made way more progress than me, but I absolutely love this. And I like that you can go in and pick your size. So there's already three sizes there. You don't have to pay extra to pick your size. You can just pick your size. I started up here in this little corner right there. And this is also on 25 count easy grid using CXC flosses. This is on the 11 by 17, which will probably come off it soon. And I got 203 stitches done out of, from a total of 112,896 and I'm at 0.18% complete. And this is all I have done. It is such a sad, sad start. But I do plan on getting a lot more on this. It's not getting put away yet. So Again, go check out Hannah Darling's site. Um, not on her floss tube. Go to her Instagram, which I think is British Book Stitches. Or, um, I'm not quite sure her Instagram name. I know her floss tube. I'll link it below because on her Instagram, she's been doing a lot of updates on this. And she's doing an amazing job. Also, the 11 by 17 doesn't fit in the bag. So another reason to not use that.
We are already almost done with my stitching. This is going to be the shortest video ever. Okay, so because I just didn't have as much time to stitch this week, I did bring a project to work. I don't usually cross stitch at work. I have a treadmill under my desk and I usually try to be healthy and walk on my treadmill during my breaks. But this week I brought Magwayan to work. And that's a Bella Filipina chat. And I worked on this for a few of my breaks and a few of my lunch breaks just to get some stitching in on some days that I wouldn't be able to stitch at all. And this is what it looked like at the beginning of the week. It's not necessarily what it looked like the last time you saw it because I think I stitched on it planning to film and left it at work. And then by the time I brought it home from work, I, I don't have that picture anymore. But this is what it looked like at the beginning of the week. And here is what I got to with just, like I said, some break stitching and lunchtime stitching. And here we're at. And this is stitched on. So I used to saying 25 pound, I forgot to say actual fabric colors. So this is um, Be Stitch Me and it's paranormal and it was probably, probably a color of the month. Most of my Be Stitch Me's are a color of the month. So there's that. And this is 28 count Lugana. So there we go. And I mostly worked, well, I did just work all on this black right here because it was some easy stitching, especially at work where even though I'm on my break, people still come up and ask me questions. And I only have one more project to show you. And this project is probably one of the, aside from not having much time, biggest culprits of why you saw so little on my other projects. Um, I mentioned in my last video that I wanted to get this done by January. And Lacey, the sleepy stitcher, and I, who have been chatting on Instagram, she called me out on not calling her out because she said she wanted to get a project done by November 4th. And I said, well, you didn't tell me, call me out when I said I wanted to get this done by January. And I barely had a start on it, but I want to get it done by January because I need to start The Bride by Lavender and Lace for my daughter who's getting married in September. But I have been kicking butt on this at the expense of all my other projects, but I feel like I've gotten quite a bit done. And this is what it looked like last time you saw it. And here we go again. Always a floss tube fail. This is stitched on Grace Notes Fabrics Mystique 28 Count Lugana. So there we go. Now, this is what it looked like last time you saw it. And this is what it looks like, and that's upside down. This is what it looks like now. It is not ironed because I just took it off the Q-snap and it's going right back on the Q-snap. Let's see if I can make this. It's just a little unmanageable. I had it all folded nicely until I lifted it up upside down and then I just totally unfolded it on accident. All right, there we go. So this is where it's at. And I've been, well, I've been working on almost all of it because I think I only had a little bit of the dress and the knee done two weeks ago. So right now I'm getting the candles in. Trying to do a little bit of the border as I go so that it adds up. But what I've been doing, and oh, I, have, I do not want this in my coffee, is I'm doing, if I can get it, tent stitch for nine and then a full stitch for 10. So that's matching up with the grid line on the pattern. And then when I get it all the way around, I'll just go in and fill those in, but it's easier for me to keep count that way. But yeah. So this has gotten the majority of my stitching time. I still want to get it done by January. However, I do desperately want to get back to those new starts. So, but loving how this is turning out. 
I am doing two strands of Krynik. It calls for one strand. And I stitched that one strand and I did not like the coverage at all. So all this black in here is Krynik. And I went with two strands. So hoping I have enough because Krynik is really hard to get right now. But it called for three spools of Krynik. And I don't think, I think even with the two strands, I'm still going to have enough on this, so. And also down here, these little things right here, this is um, water, Kieran Water Lilies. And this is all these different colors as one strand. And I have to tell you, I've never stitched with silk before. Never really understood all the hoopla over it when people talk about it because I'm like, floss is floss. And then I stitched with it. And now I can see why people go crazy over silk floss. This was so smooth to stitch with. It was like stitching with butter. So here's all the colors and it's coming out gorgeous on those flowers. And it's so nice to stitch with. I kind of wish I hadn't done it now. Now I know what it's like to stitch with silk, but I stitch mostly full coverage anyways, and there is no way I would invest in silk on a full coverage project. So, so that is Bellatrix, which I think, I think I've gotten a fair bit, a bit done on it. We'll see if I reach my January goal or not, but then if I reach my January goal, then I'm gonna have to stitch like a mad woman to get the other one done by September. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, one of the things I wanted to show you is I do hear a lot of people say that when they're stitching, you know, they, they don't stitch on the count they necessarily want to stitch on because they can't see the stitching. And I just wanted to show what I use for my stitching because I can't even stitch on 14 counts without the help of my stitching aid. And I don't like the magnifying lamps. I like to be able to move my head, move my project. So what I actually do is I have readers that are a little bit stronger than my glasses. And then I actually have these that I just get at Michael's and they just clamp right on the glasses. And I go from not even being able to stitch on 14 count. I put these on and I can stitch on 40 count if I need to. Not the prettiest accessory in the world. And I do wear these in public because a group of us get together at Panera every once in a while and I have no problem pulling these out and stitching in the wild with these. And it is amazing. And then you can just flip it up if you need to. But again, I go from not being able to stitch on 14 count to being able to stitch on 40 count using these. And I'm not quite sure. These are, I think, 3.5s. And these are the close-ups are 2.75s on these. And then, again, I get these right at Michael's. I make sure I have a 50% off coupon and they just clip on. And then I can move my head, I can stitch. I can stitch on any count I want with these. So that's how I stitch on my higher count fabrics. Don't know if that'll help anyone, but if, if you can't see to stitch, just something like this will, will, will get you to those higher counts if you want that. So I did get some haul, a little bit of haul, because I wasn't going to, I was going to be good. My husband saw it and asked me why I was being good and told me that I should really get it. I mean, it's my money, not his, but I tell him the same thing when it comes to golf and he wants a new golf club. I'm like, don't be silly, just go get it. So my husband and I totally enable each other. And so not a good combination there, but. That's and this is from Stitch is So Beautiful. It's called Shimmering Witch, signed by Arcane Splendor. And how, look at this, look at how gorgeous this is. I don't know when I'm gonna start it. I'm probably gonna kit it up soon, but you saw by those little baby starts, I really need to get some work in on those. But, oh my gosh, look at how pretty that is. I will probably regret it when I get down to all these white and light gray stitching, but I couldn't resist. Well, I could resist, and then my husband talked me into it, and then I didn't resist, so. So there's my haul. Uh, one of the things I'm going to be doing is I'm gonna dye up some fabric that I have ordered, and to make it a little bit more fun, I reached out to Lacey, the Sleepy Stitcher, and I had her 
pick out an inspiration picture and send it to me. And then I'm gonna now try to do something with the fabric when it comes in. And here's the inspiration picture. So I think that's gonna be fine. I'll hopefully have that to show on my next video. I'm just waiting for some fabric to come in the mail from AliExpress because I didn't want to get something expensive and then not like how it turns out. But I think that's going to be a little bit of fun. And now I want to show some of my stitchy goodness and not stitchy goodness because it's from stitchy people, but it's not actually stitchy related. And I'm just going to pause for a second because now everything is out of my reach. Okay, I'm back. So Lacey, the sleepy stitcher, I should just put her name down here because I've mentioned her how many times so far, but I absolutely adore talking with her. I've had so much fun getting to know her. Uh, sent me a box. And if you watch her video, you know she's uh, stationed in Japan right now. And she sent me a box of goodies that I can't wait to try. And when I say try, I mean I'm going to make my husband try them. And then after he tries them, he'll tell me if I will like them or not, and I'll eat them. But they're all... Japanese writing. How fun is that? The best part is, oh, no, really? I have to put the calories so we can read them. You know what, you can't read the serving size, so we'll just pretend a serving size is an entire bag. So some absolutely fun treats. Now, some of them you can tell just by looking at them what they might be. But there's some, like, so we did dip into this one. I made my husband try it. We thought for sure this was gonna taste like cinnamon. And it does not taste like cinnamon. And it doesn't taste like bacon. And we still haven't figured out what it is yet. But Lacey said that there's an app we can download to figure out what some of this stuff is. But it's just so fun. It's a whole box, so I'm not gonna show you all of them. But I had him try that. And I went see. And I tried this. This was absolutely delicious. So I have a whole box of goodies from Lacey that we can now dip into. Like I said, we did sneak in a little bit right away. But... And then I have something I just want to show from my husband. My husband and I are horrible when it comes to gift giving. So if I buy you something, I'm gonna set it away for a day and then I'm gonna give it to you. I, I just, if your birthday's a month from now and I buy it now, you're gonna get it now. I, I don't, I'm not good at waiting until the appropriate time. So Christmas is brutal for the two of us and my husband's the same way. So we're at, what did I say, October 26th and we exchanged Christmas presents yesterday. And he got me, I was on Instagram and I saw this cup and I just fell in love with it and told him to tell my son to get this for me for Christmas. And my husband knows my son well enough to know that my son's probably not going to get me this for Christmas. So he went and got it for me. He said it was back ordered forever. And then it finally came in and Valeris from A Court of Thorn and Roses. Is this not the most amazing cup? I'm so excited and I pointed this out to him a few months ago and I saw this and fell in love with it and then a couple of weeks ago I was on Instagram and I saw a fourth wing one and I guess he said I squealed I don't remember squealing all right maybe I did squeal I squealed he already had this one but he went on and he got me the fourth wing one also. But, I mean, dragons. How can I not love dragons? So, now I don't know, because I got this yesterday, I don't know which one to use first. I'm so excited about them. I'm actually rereading fourth wing now because the new book comes out in January. And I got the, um, the one that has the extra couple of chapters in it. But I think if you've read it, you can go on her site and you can read the two extra chapters, which are really cute. They're from Zayden's point of view. So if you've read Fourth Wing, just so you know, she's come up with two extra chapters um, from Zayden's point of view that I recommend reading. But oh my gosh, I'm so excited about these cups. So that's my Christmas presents because we were horrible at waiting. And all right, life update. 
there's gonna be a little bit of whining just because there's a little bit of whining. So I didn't get much stitching done because um, I've mentioned I have a second job. And that second job, I typically like maybe one, two shifts a month at the most. I really don't have the second job because I want the second job. I have the second job because I want the discount um, until next year because I work doing banquet work at a hotel at night. And so I get discounts on hotels, which is gonna come in handy because I have to go away um, three times next year and I can get a room with free breakfast and everything included for like $40 a night, which comes in handy when you're going away and rooms are typically uh, $150, $200 a night. So I got three shifts over the course of the last week. Um, and I still have my day job, so here's the whining. So I worked from 6.30 in the morning till 11 o'clock at night, which is why I brought the project to work because there was no way to fit any stitchy time in after that. And I'm old, so it takes me like two days to recover because now that I'm in my 50s, it's, I don't know, I just, I wake up the next day and feel like I was hit by a freight train. So that cut extremely into my, my stitching time. So again, three shifts, working doubles. I'm too old for this crap for a job I don't even really want at the moment. And then some fun times because my daughter and I spent an entire Sunday doing wedding stuff. So that was worth not having the stitchy time. We went out and we shopped and we got gifts for the people she was going to ask to be her bridesmaids and her maid of honor. And we had fun putting the gifts together and she got them all shipped out. And that was a lot of fun. So very short life update, just too much work and then an extremely fun day with my daughter cut into my stitching time. But I don't have much coming up this next couple of weeks. I don't at the moment have any shifts at my second job. It's kind of per diem and they let us know maybe a week in advance they shoot us a text message saying we have a shift. But I'm hoping I don't have any shifts for that and I can just get some stitchy time in. And really nothing to show you for plans because plans are to work on what I just showed you. I don't have any new starts lined up. I'm not pulling anything new out. I really wanna get some stitches in on those two new starts to, especially the cute Halloween witch, I want it to look like something. And I'm just going to keep going to town on Bellatrix as well. So that's everything, super quick video. Sorry about that, but like I said, I didn't wanna wait and I wanted to really show up my, um, my goodies before they start to go stale. So. That's everything. I will see you in a couple of weeks. And until then, happy crafting.